I just find my happy place in the water. Most mornings you'll find Kirk Watson catching waves on Sydney's northern beaches. Just that rush of taking off on a wave, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling when you, when you get it right and, yeah, just feeling the energy in the wave. These days, Kirk surfs with the help of a guide. I was about 30 when I um, really started to struggle with eyesight. I've got retinitis pigmentosa, so it's a degenerative condition. So over, over a period of time, you lose your uh, night vision, then your peripheral vision, then your central vision. Kirk doesn't let being blind hold him back. The guides are really good. They, you know, point me in the right direction. And then once I start paddling, I can't really hear them anymore. And then, yeah, sort of jump up and it's almost like muscle memory. You sort of, you know, your body knows what to do. Kirk is also one of 16 crew members attempting to sail from Sydney to Hobart in the world famous yacht race later this month. See you. <laughs> Bye. He's part of a not-for-profit volunteer-run organisation called Sailors with Disabilities founded by former businessman David Pescard 25 years ago. Today the crew is training on Sydney Harbour. Understanding your job is safe sailing. This is my boat. I, I built this boat in yeah. 2000 for disabled people. It has yep. you know, a lot of ergonomic sensitivity towards disabled people. Sailors with Disabilities was partly inspired by David's own experiences with dyslexia. Because of my dyslexia, I have always had uh, an interest in how we treat the differences in our society. Um, I don't think we do a very good job. I've been possessed now for 25 years by making changes in society and letting kids with disabilities become better than they thought they could be. Kath? Okay. More alcohol when you're ready. We're in Sydney Harbour. I mean, any day you're in Sydney Harbour is good. We've got 20 knots of breeze or a little bit under. There's the bridge, there's the harbour, there's the upper house. The key to sailing successfully is working as a team. I worked out their skill base and their knowledge and um, ability and physical ability. I mean, there's no point in uh, having a guy with no legs at the mast. It's not going to work. So it's just working around with what people can do rather than what they can't do. As I lost my sight, I, yeah, I became more in tune with, with, with how, how the waves feel, um, how the boat feels under you. Um, you know, a lot of people will look at the sail most of the time, but they won't feel how the boat's feeling. Sailing is very freeing. I get to not only leave my wheelchair behind on the dock, but it's, it's more than that. It's just becoming part of a crew and it's a very inclusive sort of support. So all of us, we're all very diverse, but we all play to our strengths. Coming up in the soft stuff, guys. Brett Pierce has sailed the Sydney to Hobart six times. This year, he'll share the skippering duties with David Pescard. How did you initially get involved with Sales for Disabilities? So I was born with Wayne Rifter, so way back when. Um, initially I wasn't meant to be able to walk or do anything like that, but then back in um, like 2000 I got a bit sick from the spina bifida, had complications, so I had to have a lifestyle change. And I'd already been around boats with my dad fishing and stuff like that. It doesn't matter what's happening in life, you know, you get on the water, you forget about a lot of it. It's very much a level. It's you, the ocean, your mates, your crew. Brett believes the crew has what it takes to complete one of the world's toughest yacht races. We always go alright, we always come through. Adversity and diversity is what, what drives us, so I don't think we've got plenty of that. I'm just because I'm blind doesn't mean I can't surf, just because I'm blind doesn't mean I can't sail, just because you, you know, missing a couple of limbs doesn't mean that you can't get out there and go racing amongst, you know, some of the best sailors in the world. 